Eye of the Tiger. Good morning. It, it is sunny, but it is it is bloody cold in the shed this morning. Right. Where was I at? I was at headlights, wasn't I? Uh, yes. So this is a scene so far. It, utter destruction. I've had me mop out. I've had me uh, me pro cut cutting compound on the old sponge there, and then I buff them up. I did 600, 800, and 1,200. Could really do with 15, and then 2,000, and props 2,000 to an half thousand to be to make them really shine. I mean, look at that. They're, they're a, bit, a bit dull, but what I'm going to do is reassemble these light fittings uh, right now as there are parts literally everywhere. <laughs> so, oh, I'm going to re... I'm going to re, re, uh, put them back together and get them back on the car because it will be easier for me to buff them on the car. Right, got me brew. Uh, what else have I done? Oh, yes, I've had the multi-tester out because I've been chasing faults. That rear, the, the fuel flap. Okay, you got the button on the C-pillar to open the fuel flap. That doesn't work. So I had to switch out. I test, tested the switch. Uh, uh, with the multimeter on continuity and when you press the button it works so the switch works um, I took the plug off of the uh, motor which, which releases the flap and my beautiful assistant Caroline uh, pressed the button in, inside the car and there was no power getting to the motor so I think the motor is fine now it might be a relay uh, I've been through the fuse panel and there is no specific set fuse for that uh, motor. So I'm kind of scratching my head at the moment. Now I need to check to see in the C pillar where the wiring comes through for the switch. I need to see if there's power there. Because and then I can chase it back from there to the fuse panel, can't I? But the the without cutting the cables... The holes in the plug are so minuscule, they're minute, I can't even get a pin in them, they're actually tiny. So I can't get my probes into the switch to test it. So I've got, I've got to think outside the box there. Right, okay, well let's reassemble these light fittings because there are lots of components that need to go back in. Lots and lots and lots. So let's just crack on. And get on with it and get them back in the car. I'll take the bonnet back off. Uh, what, I, what I achieved today is that wiper play. That is essential, that wiper play, because the rain's going to be coming soon in the in the UK for the wind, winter. And also that where they've jacked the car, somebody's jacked the car up in the wrong place underneath and pushed that floor pan right up in and split the metal. Uh, that needs to be um, made watertight. Uh, because that, that little compartment is where all the electronics are. So I need to really get in there and start uh, uh, blasting away with that, with the, with the mallet and the piece of wood and the hammer and just try, try and sort of gingerly get, get it about where it should be. Get that, that, that uh, hump uh, back down flat so I can, I can sort of seal that split with um, something I might even use. I have some... Uh, sort of fiberglass sealer sealant um, paste. I might put that on there and just see if that holds out. Give it a good, uh, a good wire wheel underneath just to get the paint off, so it adheres. So a bit of a key, and slap some of that stuff on, and hope for the best. Really, that's all I can do, isn't it? Right, brew face neck down. Reinstall these light fittings. Go. Oh my right, goodness. two headlights are all back together and gluing. Uh, I need to get some lube out and start lubing stuff because it's time to try and sort out this wiper blade uh, malarkey. Right, I've managed to get the bracket off. It is now inside, but look at this. I mean, look. I thought that was just like a, a like a rivet through there. So I drilled out one end. I drilled out the back side. And yeah, it didn't, I couldn't tap it back through. I had a hammer and punch here, I couldn't get it back through. So in the end I had to drill the head off of this side and I had to literally drill right through to get rid of the pin. It just would not come out 
this way or that way. So I had to do that twice, obviously, for there. And I thought that these were plastic bushes, but they're not. They're actual like brass sleeves, I think. Ah. I will have a bit, a bit of a closer inspection when we get inside, but I've got a plan. These need to come off because they need a, a lick of paint anyway. So, right, where's my spray gone? There it is. Oops. Because that is proper. 17 mil nut, and my golly, was that on tight. So there we go, let's put that. I'll pull that arm up and just wiggly jiggle a little bit. That should come free, but it's been on there 21 years, EZ. What are you thinking about? I should have done this yesterday, shouldn't I? Never leave one of these unattended in the up position because they will fly down and crack your screen open. Right, but I need to get this one off, you see, to get to the one underneath. It's a 17 mil. I don't think the second one's 17 mil because the cap's a lot smaller. It's a smaller cap. That's all right, isn't it? I'm going to put that in my little my little parts holder in there. There's the two screws for the headlight. <laughs> And I need to still, I still need to get this blooming thing out somehow, don't I? To get the other one in. The blade looks all right itself. It doesn't look too old. It looks like it's fairly sort of recent. A Bosch uh, effort. Let's put that down there. There's the other screw for this top headlight. That can go in the parts tray there. Oh, I'm going to give that 10 minutes to soak in. And just perhaps put that nut back on the top. And give it a gentle tap whilst I have this up and I'm jiggling it. It'll, it'll give way. Because I need to get this indoors because I have a plan. Now the plan is that this bracket has plenty of meat left on it. And what, what I mean by that is... Right, there's the bracket. Let me just get rid of all this, all this guff. Where's my M8 screws? Uh, oh, they're probably in another box. There, they're in there. Okay, I have a plan, and the plan is to have a drink of water. Mm -mm. <clears throat> There's a little cap that goes over uh, this part there. But it was all held on with tie wraps. You can still see the indentation of tie wraps. Even There was even tie wraps in here where the bush is worn away. There was even tie wraps in there. Anyway, what I've done is I've uh, made my holes bigger by drilling them out with a 6.8 mil drill bit. And what I'm going to do is see if I... Because there's quite a recess there. I mean, it's, it's chunky old metal. Look at the size of that. And it's chunky for a reason. And there's a lot of there's a lot of power going through this, etc, etc. But what I was thinking of doing, as you can imagine, it's on the... Where are we? Yeah, it's on the car like that. That's windscreen. That's bracket. That's the two arms coming in. What I was thinking of doing is because these are sort of um, chamfered, they're, they're, they're tapered in almost. If I go in there with a big drill bit and just draw that taper out a bit more and then whack a M7 thread or even an M8 thread. If I do an M8 thread in there, wind M8 thread into there, and then drill out the center of the ends of those two ends. I can then uh, attempt to put in something like where's all me flipping? Something like that. Okay, that's M8, obviously. So that would that head would sort of almost be flush in there okay now this this on the other side this was just literally hammered over but it has to fit inside that something like that so I can't have too much protruding that's why if I thread that I can literally cut these uh, to the exact length can't I exact length and then Literally drill, drill a 8mm, um, like I say, hole through the centre of what's left of those end bushes. And that should suffice and keep it 
it's a, it's a plan. I mean, basically, this this arm is ruined. Uh, the bushes are absolutely shot away. Uh, it's been bodged, and uh, I want to bodge it some more. <laughs> I tell you, it's a plan. It's not going to cost me anything. So if it works, it works. If it doesn't, I can only drive the car in dry weather. <laughs> Well, actually, I can get my buffer out then, can't I? There's the old buffer. There it is. And get some cutting compound on that glass. Pro cut compound. And give that a bit of a thingy. Right, I'm going to crack on. What an absolute piglet I this car is turning out to be. I'm trying to get the wiper arm off. I've had to concoct some sort of contraption like this. I've got a mini puller that I've had to secure the zip tie to keep the three legs underneath his arm to wind that in to then tap this with a mallet to get it to pop off and I do believe it's popped off so let's take the pressure off and get that out of the way and undo the nuts Who flipping right? Yeah, that is off. That is finally off. I have had hours of fun trying to get that off of there. Anyway, it's off now. The other one should be easy because it's not. This is the only one that's motorized. This one is just a. It's just a free floating floater. Right, let's get this bit in the shed because I can then show you what the plan is. I know I've already said about it, but <clears throat> there's someone across the, across the field going woo all the time. Do you know how annoying that is? Just that tiny little woo, like Americans. Yeah, whoop sort of thing. They've stopped doing it now. Drop my phone. Anyway, there we go. That's what we're up against. Come on, camera in for focus. That's what we got. So basically, you got a brass outer, and then a, a steel inner, and then the pin goes through it. And what happens is you can see that one's worn down, and that one's stayed the same. I say, madam. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, bacon butty. Right, that's the end of this video. I'll catch you later. Bye. Right, this is where <laughs> we are at. We're in the shed. Obviously, what I've done is I've put the eight more thread through there. I have drilled out that horrible bush from the end of the wiper arm. Uh, thus, so we're left with this. Sort of type affair. Let's put the light on. Okay. Now it doesn't matter how warm the outside diameter is there and there because it's the inside diameter I'm, diameter I'm worried about. I'm concerned about because that just goes around that bolt and they they they're wanged in there. I've I've countersunk those two heads as best I can because the drill bit angle is different from the angle on the countersink on the screws so all I need to do now angle grind those flat against the wiper arm like so then unwind them uh, install onto there on the other one uh, and this it should be should be good to go we'll see I'm not holding out any uh, <clears throat> expectations other than if it doesn't work I'm gonna scream until I make myself sick Right, but before I do that even, we need to tidy all this up, wire brush it, uh, whack some uh, satin on there. I might just go over that with a bit of, bit of paper just to smooth it off a bit. Uh, and, you know, what do you call it? Paper, not just paper. God, flipping it. Come on, keep up. And that should be the saga of the wiper arm scratching the windscreen effort over. We'll see. We shall see. Never mind. Oh. Stop press. I have had a revelation. The mighty one came down from above and said, Easy, what, what are you doing? That won't last because you're putting an 8mm bolt with teeth on it 
in a brass ferrule, in a brass sleeve, if you like, that will eat that up in three or four swipes. And he has a good point. So I said to him, OK, bugger off. I've got work to do. Um, so I've come up with a cunning plan. What I did is I've actually drilled out those horrible brass things. Now that leaves me with an 11 mil uh, hole that I need. And I'll tell you for why that is. Why is that? There is my 8 mil bolt, say, for instance. Uh, up here I've got some, some of these... Some of these things, and in there I have this thing, which is perfectly eight mil internal diameter. So that's spot on. Uh, now I need to insert that into there, and that is uh, on. That is eight mil uh, diameter. Oops, sorry, eight mil, eleven mil. Come here. 11.3, but it is 11 mil, believe me. So, I've just lost it now. Where is it? <laughs> I'll, find, I'll find it in a minute. So, basically, I just need to measure now, don't I? I need to measure that gap there, which we can do that actually on film, can't we? Whilst we're delegating. Let's put that back on again. And I can use the internal bit there to measure that. Any guesses? I'd say 12 mil. Ooh, 10.7. Okay, so I will chop down the piece that I've just lost. <laughs> Where is it? I don't know. It's in there somewhere. It's got to be. Do I have another one? Uh, no, I have. Is that 8 mil? Yes, that is 8 mil. I will now chop that down to that thickness there. I'll get a scribe out and think scribe that one. I'd like to use that clean one if I can. Hopefully it's uh, 22 mil long or longer. Yeah, I'll find it in a sec. So that is a plan. That will be all solid and it cannot do anything else apart from stay solid. Right, up there for thinking. Cheers, big man in the sky. Appreciate your, your help. Let's uh, let's crack on. Right before I try and put the wiper blood arms back on, cut. I'm going to try and use my cutting compound and my mop to see if I can remove some of that. Uh, if I can remove, you know, the light bits there, the half of it, I'll, I'll be happy with that because it's right in my eye line. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's crack on. See what happens. Mm -mm. Right, arms are on. They've been painted in satin black. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? And we have a result. Look at that. I don't think much of the cutting compound. Well, it's actually done a lot there, but not a lot there. But then again, never polish a car in the sunlight. And that's exactly what I tried to do with the mop. So, anyway, I've cleaned these pieces up and given them a bit of a, a, bit of a satin black as well. That actually covers all the mechanism. And look at that gap. Look at that gap. I can get my blasting finger in there. No problem at all. So I reckon that is a proper win. It's got the M8 uh, countersink bolts in there. And uh, yeah, you've got those uh, sleeves in there. The 11 mil outside diameter. When I went to put the, uh, the bushes into this piece, I literally had to, sorry, into these arms. I just popped it. I heated up the end of the arm, the eyelet, heated up with me old blowtorch, uh, popped in the 11mm uh, with an 8mm internal diameter sleeve, put it in the vise, crimped it up a bit and then I took it out, flipped it over and I kept tapping along with the old toffee hammer just on top to get that so that the sleeve was dead centre of that arm eyelet, if you get what I mean. So uh, yeah, I mean... I reckon that's a win, and I had to, I've actually I've actually angle grinded these heads down a bit because I wanted to be able to put that on there like so. Ah, hang on, how does this go? Uh, I don't know how does it go. Ah, it must go. 
Let's lift it up. Let's do it properly. All right, let's get that out of the way. That goes on there like that. Probably somehow. I don't know, like that. Stay. And then that piece snaps on the top, but it wouldn't snap on because the heads were sticking out too far. So let's see how we get on this time. What's stopping that going in then? Ooh, uh, missus, what's stopping it going in? I don't know. Now, nah. or is that it? Let's have a go anyway. No. No. One-handed bob here. Eh. Anyway, it fit just now. I'm going to have to do this off camera because it, it's a two-handed job and I've only got one. So anyway, what do you think of me bodge? So guys, if you're out there and you're thinking about, oh my God, I need to get a new wiper arm system or whatever. Um, it's 80 odd quid, isn't it? 80, nearly 90 quid. With a can of uh, black, set in black and a little bit of ingenuity and a few drill bits. Uh, we're there. We've actually fixed that. And I think that's better now than what it was originally. But then I would, wouldn't I? <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, incidentally, I was just about to put the lights back in when I thought I'd give up the give the areas a bit of a clean, you know, because it was all, you know, stones and grit and all that kind of stuff in there. So I cleaned up that side, no problem at all. Yeah, no problem at all. I thought I'd clean this side up. I started cleaning and I thought, well, that's... That's a bit wobbly. So I uh, had a look up there, and uh, this plastic's actually snapped off of there. Flipping heck, it's not one thing as another. What I'm gonna do is do two very small holes in this piece of plastic here, and two corresponding holes in there, and put tiny little nuts and bolts through with lock nuts on. Okay, and I might even aerodite that in the in the in the middle, sandwich that, and then bolt the two in. Every little thing, every little thing on this car needs love and attention. And I have bucket loads of that, so I'm happy. Okay, right. Well, uh, I think I'm going to wrap that up here, and then uh, when the sun goes down, I'll start buffing, get the old mop out, and I'm going to give the old bodywork a bit of a once over. Right, guys. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Oh, I hope you're having as bad a luck as I am today. <laughs> but I finally got that flipping wiper arm mechanism sorted. I haven't got to worry about that now for a good few years. I wouldn't have thought that should last a good while now. Um, and it's, it'll be easy to repair. If uh, What I might even do is search for some set um, countersink screws, which by that I mean that there's not thread all the way down inside that sleeve. I'd rather have you know, good metal in there, uh, which is which is eight mil, not, not just shy of it sort of thing, so that it doesn't rub so much. And I might even pop a tiny bit of grease in there whilst I'm doing that. Anyway, I need to crack on. Catch you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe.